Sunday night. Lots to do. The Zen Thanksgiving. We're gonna get together the stuffing, the yuca, maybe a sauce or two, um, and whatever else needs to be done um, before Monday night when we've got to actually cook the turkey and the pernil. So with that being said, let me get together the ingredients we need and we'll be right back. First thing we're going to start with is beautiful stuffing. Onions, celery, breadcrumbs, seasoning, butter, eggs. It's going to be beautiful. Here we've got our beautiful celery. It's beautiful. Look at this. Uh, I wash this off and I give it another rinse. As we go along, and I'm gonna cut this off. We're gonna probably do these two. Remember, we've got a whole tray of stuffing to do. So we're gonna wash this off. We're gonna do probably one, two, three, four onions at least. Ah, what the heck? I'm not the, let's not be cheap. Let's do five onions. We got a big budget here. <laughs> HEB is gonna kick in some money for this one because we uh, we promoted them. So let's do like five onions. Ooh, and we're gonna get everything going here. This is all the nonsense you do not see on your average cooking show. Cause they just edit this all out. I, I know, I, I've been there, I watched it. I watched hours and hours of cooking shows. Days. Just like that. We're gonna get rid of all that nonsense. All the skin. Just like that. But remember, we're doing Zen Thanksgiving. And it's all about timing. So today being Sunday, we got plenty of time until our Tuesday potluck for all of this to come together and be perfect. Which is fine by me. Okay, that's done. Let's push this aside. I'm going to clean this all up as we go, but we're going to, we're going to get on to a quick way. Cut it in half, leave it aside, cut the front off, cut the front off, peel off what's ever not, whatever's got any brown on it, just thusly, and you're left with a beautiful piece of onion that you can work with. So what if you lose a little bit of onion? It's not life threatening. Cut, flip over, cut the end off. Cut the end off. Don't cut the root side off. Because the root side is what holds everything together. Peel it back. Beautiful, just like that. Peel it back, just like that. This way there's no tears, there's no... Oh, I wish you were here to help me peel onions. Just like... Let's move aside, let's do the feet. Let's cut them like this. Just like that. Then dice them up. So, let me get some of this off and into the pan. Medium heat. I'm gonna throw in some olive oil and some butter in a minute. As soon as I start to hear a sizzle. Oh, 
I'm going to keep doing that for each one of these onions. As soon as I'm done with that, I'm going to get to the celery and do the same thing and throw it in the pot also. When I'm done of uh, celery, those six onions all chopped up, some salt, some pepper, two tablespoons of poultry seasoning, some olive oil and garlic, the roasted garlic we did from the other night. All in here, sweating down. And then I'm going to trim this up a little bit. And a couple of eggs. So, this celery is going in the pot. Okay, I'm gonna let that cook down for like four or five minutes, six minutes. I'm gonna clean up, get this all clean, and as soon as I'm done, we'll be right back. Celery are going real nice. I've got some fresh onion in there. I've got some fresh thyme here and some fresh rosemary, which I'm just gonna put a nice little chop on. Just like that. I'm gonna throw that in the pot along with a uh, another stick of butter, which will make that two sticks of butter inside our concoction there. Well, we're gonna need that. We're gonna need that for our, our uh, stuffing. We're gonna need all this fat and lovely flavors. And we're just gonna cut up the butter just like this. You. And in the pot it goes. And as soon as that's all melted down, we're going to start to mix that with our, our breadcrumbs. And it's going to be absolutely phenomenal. Let me just clean up here. And it's, okay, our onions and celery and garlic and rosemary and thyme and poultry season and salt and pepper have been cooking down over here. Our butter, it's absolutely phenomenal. Now, my grandmother's recipe calls for Unita biscuits. I'm in Texas. They don't have Unita biscuits. So the best thing I could come up with was Petrus Farm herb seasoned stuffing. I've used these before. They're pretty good. They're really phenomenal. It's a couple of different blends of uh, white bread and rye bread. It's going to be phenomenal anyway. Uh, there goes one bag. Here goes two bags. I bought four, so hopefully I'll use all four. Here's three bags. Okay, I think the three bags is going to be it here. We don't want to overfill this. Now, I'm going to turn this down a little bit to low because it's percolating. 
We need something to bind all this together. Otherwise, you have loose stuffing, and nobody likes loose stuffing. So I'm going to get some eggs. I'm going to whip them up, and I'm going to throw them in the... We're going to wash our hands. Then we're going to take our whisk, and we're going to beat them up. And in they go. Just like that. Remember, this is Zen. We're not going crazy here. All right, this phenomenal smelling mixture of celery and onions and garlic and salt and pepper and butter is all going into this vat of different breadcrumbs. Just like this. Just like that. Has some celery and onion next to it, which we know it loves. Just like that. Now, as you can hear, it still has a nice dry sound to it. You hear that crunch? You hear that? Okay, what does that mean? That means we need liquid. Ah, you hear that? Crunch. That's all those bread crumbs. And as nicely as they mixed with those, the celery and the onions, it's still extreme, and the oil and the, the butter, it's still very dry. So what does that mean? We need to add some liquid. What are we going to use? Water? Nah. I'm going to wash my hands. Chicken stock. That's what we're going to use. And we're going to use it to the tune of probably two of these quarts. To loosen up and wet up all of those bread crumbs that we've got in here. Because we don't want a dry stuffing. Nobody likes dry stuffing. We like it crispy on the outside and we like it moist on the inside. It's just the way it is. So there's one quart. I'm going to play with it a little bit, let's see. Okay. You hear how we don't hear as much as the, the crunching sound that we heard before? That's because we got some moisture in there. You hear that? Nice, and not so bad. But, ah, you hear that crunch? Crunchiness. We don't want crunchiness. Not at this stage. We want mo you hear that? Oh. We want moist sounds. So this is why we buy plenty of H E B chicken stock. Can't go wrong with this stuff. Here goes another quart. Quart in. I'm going to mix it around again. And as long as we don't hear any of that dry noise, beautiful. That's the way we like it. We want to see it come together. Ah, a little dry. A little dry sound back in this corner here.
If it's dry here, it's gonna be dry when you're done baking it. So you gotta stop the dryness right here. If you don't stop it here, it's not gonna translate after you cook it. It'll be dry, nasty, so we're going to another quart. You know, most years I make two turkeys because everybody begs me for them. I make one turkey for Thanksgiving and I make one turkey for the day after Thanksgiving for sandwiches alone because it's that sought after. And one of the reasons it's that sought after is the stuffing. My sandwiches consist of stuffing, turkey, mayonnaise, cranberry sauce, and rye bread. And that's it. And it's a phenomenal sandwich. I, I wish I could make it for you. Maybe next year. But oh my goodness, here we go. All right, now we're on the track. Nice and moist and juicy. You see that? It's not dry at all. It's soaking up all of that moisture. Okay. Wait, we're not done with this stuffing yet. I still have to throw the sausage in. Off the chart at this point. Let me get the sausage ready in the pan. We'll be right back. This is hanging out. <clears throat> Johnsonville Italian mild sausage in a warm pan <clears throat> with a little bit of water and a little bit of olive oil. <clears throat> Just like that, in the pan they go and they're gonna cook. When they're cooked and nice and brown on the outside, after the water is uh, evaporated and just the olive oil is left to let pep helps crisp up the skin, we're gonna dice that up and throw it in with our stuffing. Our sausage is just about cooked. The half of inch of water that I put in there has dissipated. The olive oil and the butter is all that is left. I, I added another stick of butter in there and they are looking absolutely phenomenal. The smell that's coming cools down. I'm gonna chop it up and I'm gonna throw it in with our stuffing, which is right over here and looks absolutely phenomenal too. Beautiful. And then we're gonna cover it with the aluminum foil and throw it in the oven and bake it off at 350 for about an hour. We're going to leave it like that because we don't want to overcook it because uh, they're going to heat this up uh, the day after I leave. So I need it to be a little moist still. So that being said, as soon as this is all cooled down, I'm going to mix it all together, throw it in the oven, and then we're going to, uh, it's going to be Sunday, I mean Monday, and we're going to be on to cooking the pernil and the, uh, the rest of the things we're going to cook for, for our beautiful potluck dinner. So uh, I'll talk to you as soon as I can. Bye bye. Okay our stuffing has been in there 45 minutes. It's done. I can tell. I'm gonna leave it just like that in this state. I'm gonna take it out put it in the fridge uh, because we're gonna pack this up and they're gonna heat it up uh, on Wednesday. So at this point it's done. I don't want to overcook it otherwise it's gonna be dry. And tomorrow, Monday, we're gonna start on our pernil, our turkey, our squash, and our um, yucca, and our, uh, and our uh, dipping sauces and things like that. So there you go. There's our, uh, our, our sausage and sage stuffing, which is done and ready to go in the fridge. We'll, we'll see you tomorrow.